What is going on guys, my name is Benster and welcome back to our Gary's Mod Tool tutorial series. In this one we're going to be looking at the Muscle Tool. Again, another simple tool but it can be used to make some effective things. Um, limited things but effective nonetheless. So, first off we've got a toggle thing here. I've got it as numpad 0 so it's out of the way. Next one is expansion. So this is very simply how far you want it to move away from the object you've got it attached to. So I've got two ovens here and we're going to put it on full just for example so that's a thousand uh, we'll take oh right time this is how long it should take for your muscle to expand or contract so the shorter you have this the slower it is so if you have it really high it goes like backwards and forwards really quickly kind of crazy and it doesn't get the full expansion because it's moving so quick so if you put it onto like two or something you should be fine with that Fixed is much like when we were doing the hydraulic tool. If it's fixed, it'll stay static and stiff. If it's not fixed, it'll move around and be more floppy. Um, so I'm going to keep it on fixed for this example. And you can have it on start on. So if it's selected, as soon as you click it, it'll start. So as soon as you like attach it to the two objects, it starts doing it. Or you can have it on for toggle, so you press your button and it starts and stops. So just to show you, we'll do this. There you go, see it started on. It's actually clashing into the world there, so we'll lift it up a bit. See? So it's moving backwards and forwards and it's taking two seconds to do a full rotation. Or something like that, I don't know how it works, but that's the time element of it. So we'll just grab this and stop it. We'll up the time and I'll show you what it mean what I mean by it's a bit weird when you do this. See, it just it fully extends and then just goes backwards and forwards really quick. And yeah, I don't know how effective that would be for anything really. So there's that. Let's move this one back close. Right, so if you don't have it on fixed, much like when we did the other one, it just flings around trying to move backwards and forwards, not doing a very good job of it. Again, it, I don't know when this would be useful at all, to be honest. Um, I suppose if you were doing it slowly and you needed a door to continually open and close or something, something to continually move, it's a good thing to do. Right, so for this one we've just got it set it up as we've got the toggle on, we've got the ta um, expansion on full, time's on slower, and it's not started. So this is what we've got set up. So I'm going to press numpad 0, which is what's set here. So if I press this, it'll start the process. There you go. So it starts the movement for you on a button and then you obviously can click to stop it. Um, when you click to stop, just to know it doesn't always come back. So if you start, if you click to stop, it, it'll stop within a, a few seconds of you pressing it wherever it is. So it doesn't always come back to the starting point like the hydraulic one does. So you could end up stopping it there, stopping it there, stopping it part way. So yeah, that's pretty much the basics of the tool. So what I've done is made what I think would be used like one use for this which is making a piston as you can see so what I've done is put two pipes on top of each other and then a disc inside which is black I made it so it came through the side of it so you can see it from the outside good um, and inside here underneath it is just four pieces of muscle attached to the floor and then attached to the disc and if you go in the top you can stand on this quite effectively move up and down with it I mean it looks good, but I don't know what practical uses it would have, but it is a thing nonetheless, I guess. Again, I don't... I mean, it's one of those tools that's good, and it's kind of cool, but I don't know if it has a lot of effective uses. But that's how you use it anyway, guys. So, if you enjoyed the video, like it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.